we saw the scalar multiplication of a vector after having seen that we try to discuss the subtraction of vectors okay the subtraction of vectors now let there be two vectors say a which is just something like this say a vector a which looks something like this and another vector b which looks something like this now as it happens in the real numbers their subtraction can be considered to be the addition of the negative to that number right so if it is 5 minus 3 we express it as 5 plus minus 3 this is the real number addition right this is not vector so don't get confused in a similar manner if someone says it is a minus b as a vector we can represent it as a plus minus b all right is a plus minus b now now how do i do that how do i do that that is pretty simple because we know what is minus b minus b is nothing but minus 1 multiplied with b so it is the same vector with the opposite direction right so so what i do is 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 to to first of all keep this vector as it is so, so i keep this vector as it is a right i copy it and then i paste it so so i bring it somewhere here right this is my vector a then i have my vector vector b so so this is my vector b okay so i again copy it and then i paste it so somewhere here okay now what i do is is I first of all convert it into minus B okay so so what is minus B what is minus B minus B is nothing but the same vector same length just opposite in sign right so what do I do I, I just erase the, the directional arrows right I remove the arrow and instead I put the arrow like that right so so i'm 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 pretty sorry so so this is no longer b now it has become minus b now minus b is also a vector right and we know vector addition okay if minus b bothers you then then for for the time being you call it another vector another vector say c okay so c c is a vector in its own right it has got a length it has got a tail it, 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 it's, it's, it's got a tail it has got a head fine so what can we do we just have to add and what do we do to add we just shift the vector parallel to itself right so that it is head to tail with the other vector right so i just shift it from here move it move it and try to place it like this right so this is addition of minus b minus b to a addition of minus b to a and this vector that we we'll get this that joins the tail of the first to the head of the last 
that vector is called called the resultant and that is nothing but a plus c if you want to say it like that and we know that c is nothing but minus b okay and that is nothing but a minus b so subtraction is nothing but addition of the negative of the vector to that vector right is that understood now if you see then the subtraction of the two vectors are not commutative okay so a minus b is not equal to b minus a so so what happens we are trying to say that the subtraction of the two vectors subtraction of the two vectors is not commutative we can see that right so i have i have b here let us try to find out minus a right what is minus a minus a is nothing but this vector flip that around right i'll not do that i'll, I'll just copy it i'll just copy it and then i'll paste it somewhere here okay i'll paste it here and then i'll do whatever has to be done on this vector so 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 the direction is gone right the direction changes so the arrow comes here right this is the vector minus a correct same length opposite direction and now to add let us try to add this vector so so what do we do we we just try to shift it from here right and we try to shift this vector and align it like that correct this is b plus minus a is it not we were trying to find out b minus a and going going by by the same fashion as this we write that this is b plus minus a and and that's what we do right so so this vector the resultant vector is is a vector that starts from here and ends here this is b minus a right now try to see okay i'd like to copy this part of this vector and try to match now if you if you just match it like this you'll find that that these vectors cannot be equal because at least their directions are opposite no they are not in the same direction so they cannot be equal a vector has two characteristics the characteristic of magnitude and the characteristic of of the direction okay the direction itself seems to be opposite no if i if i shift it from here parallel to itself say say kind of this okay i i shift it from here parallel to itself okay so if i shift it okay if i shift it just forget forget those extra things that got copied because of because of
the extra things that got copied because of the compulsion of copying. So, so this is my vector and, and let us try to move this vector and, and align it with this and see what happens. Okay, so, so if I try to align this vector, move this, I see that they are, they are exactly anti-parallel, right? That is the first thing that I notice. And the second thing is that their lengths are equal, right? The only thing that differs, you see, the only thing, thing that differs is their direction. direction. No? Their direction is different. So I'll just keep it here. Here, right? Fine. So so I can very safely see. So the, these vectors, though their magnitude are the same, their direction is opposite. So they cannot be the same vector. They cannot be equal vectors, right? So so what do I have to do? I'll say that. So 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 they are not they are not equal, right? They are not equal. However, I can pretty well say that mod of a minus b is definitely equal to the mod of b minus a, right? And we can say that the vectors, the, the vectors a minus b and b minus a are anti-parallel. What do we mean by anti-parallel? They are, they are opposite in their directions, exactly opposite, right? And their magnitudes are the same. That is, they are opposite in direction, they are opposite in direction. However, their magnitudes are equal. However, their magnitudes are equal. You get that? The magnitudes are equal. That is that is the subtraction of two vectors. Right? 